All right, we're here. Brand new news and stuff just released, as you can see here. We've got the art for 17 and the art for 18. They both look really good, as well as an EX Baby Vegeta. I really like his art. His art looks really good, and this also explains why the EX Goku Black was on the last banner, right? Because we get the, the main GT character and then the EX DBS character, and now we get the main DBS characters and the EX GT character. So we have those. Besides that, we've got a, a new scout battle. We've got this. Get Super Saiyan 4 Goku and aim for top tier equipment. So this is uh, most likely going to be similar to the UI Goku equipment, most likely. Where it'll go for all of GT. Like uh, UI Goku's went for all of USS. Redubbing this part in post because I actually got it wrong. I thought this was the co-op. It's actually a multi-stage uh, event where you get a bunch of rare medals. Then we've got this, uh, just try to surpass me again. You know, you've got the tickets and stuff. I don't really care about that event anymore. Yeah, same thing here. Oh yeah, and Goku's getting a Zenkai, by the way. <laughs> so we've got his arts here, his equipments and stuff. Here's the actual scout battle. Honestly, the GT one is actually looking pretty good with this Goku and this Trunks. I'd say they're a lot better than like the other guys here. Maybe like Evil Boo, I don't know. Now we've got a Legends Golden Weekend. Get double the rare medals. Wow, that's actually good. Because I'm starving for rare medals. Yep, we got this again. We got the sale. And then we got a login bonus. Then here, Super Masters Pack was actually about to go away. And now we know why. Because they're updating it. And this, is actually, this actually looks really good. You have green, Goku, black, and red cell on here addition of these two in the middle who are still solid and Jiren and this Gohan who's underrated like this banner actually looks really good I don't know if you want to summon on that though it is master's pack now we've got Super Saiyan 4 Goku's Zenkai uh, pretty crazy uh, he's pretty much gonna be better than purple Super Saiyan 3 yeah and he's gonna replace him on Sun Family wild you got 18 and 17's arts and then we've got their banner here. So yeah, there's a there's a pretty good stuff coming. We got these two plus EX Baby, and we've got Super Saiyan 4 Goku Zenkai. I have not even gotten the missions yet for Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, so I'm like starving out here. I do want to get them both done though. What gives me hope is that here it says get Super Saiyan 4 Goku and aim for top tier equipment. Wait, I'm stupid. I already have this guy at, like, red one. I think. Something like that. So I, I wouldn't need to get his missions. So that's what, yeah, that's good, but... Of, yeah, of course, they do, do get Super Saiyan for Goku, but not for Vegeta, the one that I actually needed. Alright, so we're over here on GT now. He is literally the only purple besides this EX. And this EX Goku is good, but he's not as good as this guy. So this guy getting a Zenkai, you actually do have a powerful purple on the team now. He still worked kind of somewhat before his Zenkai, but now he's gonna be, you know, just powerful, dominant purple. So with that you have yellow covered by LF Super Saiyan for Goku. If you uh, if you if you managed to get him I didn't I didn't really uh you know you know I didn't uh and Super seventeen for green and then Super Saiyan for Vegeta for red. So it's actually slowly coming together because at first you pretty much had to run LF Super Saiyan 4, Super 17, and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta or your team was just not good enough to compete. And then you had the problem that they know who, who the three characters you were going to bring are. Now they don't because now you have four. Although I have a feeling someone like uh, you know Goresh or something might just be <laughs> using these three and tossing this guy to the wayside. But we'll see. We'll see how uh, LF Super Saiyan 4 ends up. Uh, going as the team evolves. Did I say LF Super Saiyan 3 earlier? I don't know. But now we have a, uh, I guess his true home. Uh, Sun Family. So Sun Family for purples you had UI Goku and Purple Super Saiyan 3. But they both don't even buff the tag. This Goku actually buffs the tag. So that's pretty much an easy replace immediately. Even if he was like, let's say, slightly worse than one of them, he'd still be an easy replace. Here's the thing: I think he's going to be easily better than them. 
You know, I don't think anybody's going to disagree with that. So, Sun Family gets another Zenkai. Um, there, there's just no avoiding it at this point. Like, LF Super Saiyan 3, you know, Gohan, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 3, Namek Goku. Like, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Miguel just tweeted again, and he actually does have the info here. So if we take a look, uh, his okay, his main ability is exactly the same, except now he nullifies enemies with store health when it reaches zero. Wow. Okay. And then his uniques, this is the same. Uh, this is the same. Okay, so they didn't change his two uniques. But what does he, what does he gain? Gain buff effect nullifies enemy special actions that activate when changing cover for 15 timer counts when this character enters the battlefield. What? He nullifies special cover change? Really? Wow. What? Okay. Oh, yeah. This is one thing I mentioned before. They could add a uh, support type thing for him since Vegeta already had, already had it. Maybe they would add it to Goku with his new unique. So, yeah. Oh, this is actually good because if you run him on Sun Family, they're not getting this. I'm sure he's still going to be predominantly ran on Sun Family, but this does actually give him some staying power to be used on GT more so. Uh, okay, what are we looking at here? Uh, yup, yup. Oh, his green card increases his card draw speed now. Okay, okay. And he ignores sustained damage cut with his ult. Wow, okay. I'm not sure if he did that before. I, I might be stupid, but I don't think he did. I don't know whether or not that's still really good. I'm pretty sure he didn't. Uh, yeah, so he increases his card draw speed on his green now. He nullifies endurance on his main ability. For th Oh, wait. This is not even like on his alt. This is just for 30 counts. Any attack he does will nullify endurance. What? You can, you can just rush somebody... You can activate this and then rush somebody and just kill their endurance. Wow, okay. This guy is really good. Oh, wow, this guy is really good. Alright, we've got Android 17 here now. He, uh... He's yellow, and uh, let's take a look at his stuff. So he draws a blue card. He restores health by 25%, that's a lot. And his key by 50, that's also a lot. And then he increases his card draw speed, and he gets 50%. Okay, so... Wow, these two are non-cancelable, though. So he gets a non-cancelable special move buff while drawing a special move while restoring enough key to use that. That's really good. And then, let's see, he receives damage received just for free, okay. When he enters, he gets 90% to damage inflicted. Cannot be stacked, alright. He shortens his ally substitution counts. Wow, that's really good. Even, I mean, by one, but still. And he seals all enemies' main abilities. That is stupid. That's so dumb. I can't believe they gave him that. That's actually really good. And then he gives him 15% blue card cost when he's faced with them. Yeah, that's fine. I wouldn't say anything too crazy, but that helps. Then he reduces damage by 20% when changing cover, and he knocks back uh, if they use a strike card. Yep. And then when he switches out, he restores ally key by 30 and their health. That's really good. Key and health. And then he... Okay, he gets extra damage inflicted when USS or Android is defeated. Okay. He restores key on his blast? But he holds two strikes. What? That seems a little weird to me. And then he... inflicts on him is the two... Oh, upon activation... So that's so he's basically locking them in, okay. And his blast armor, obviously. <laughs> then his his uh, green card, he destroys one enemy strike blast or special move arts cards. Okay, so we can't destroy their green cards with their ultimate. And then he inflicts them with an attribute downgrade for more damage received. And then he gives them one substitution count. Okay, so he's another one of these characters that revolve heavily around substitution count. They're doing all these shenanigans here. But yeah, he looks good. I don't know. I might be stupid, but on first glance, I'm not looking at him and my my brain isn't exploding out of my head. 
But then again, my brain did explode out of my head when I read LF Super Saiyan 4 and EX Goku Black, and uh, we know how they turned out. So I think it is always best to just wait to see how they look in game. But he does look really good. Like, this is the basis for a really good card. Alright, we're going to take a look at 18 here now. She's blue. She draws a blue card, shortens ally step count by 5 and restores key. Okay, that's good. So she's looking, yeah. 20% strike damage inflicted against tag girls. Oh, I see. So she's uh, had to use the 18 to destroy the 18. And then when she enters, she gets 70% damage inflicted, reduces damage received, minus 5 to own strike cards cost. That's good. And then every time she uses an artist card, she gets 20% damage inflicted. Okay. So 17 had 90%. She has 70%. But then she gets these 20% every time she uses a card. Okay. So stacking your attack every time you use a card, even though it is like for a limited time, if you do get a, off a, a good combo, your damage is going to start to really ramp up. You know, she switched out, she restores key and gets damage. And then to allies, she gives them special move damage and key recovery. So between these two, when you're swapping in and out, you're getting a lot of key, you're getting a lot of a lot of buffs switching in and out. Minus size on special move arts cost on strike. That's interesting. It doesn't seem too crazy, but it helps. And then her blue card, she gets 20% damage inflicted on activation. Oh, and she blast armor nullifies endurance. That's good. Yeah, that's good. She doesn't, like, really buff it that much, but... Blast armor nullify endurance. Yeah. It is I, number 18. And she just, uh... Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay. A full hand restore. And a bit of extra damage. Oh, I didn't even take a look at their Z abilities. Shoot. Let me let me take a peek at this. Okay. 35% Episode Universe Survival Saga or Tag Android based strike and blast attack. And 15% to Universe Survival Saga strike defense. Okay, so that's how they do it. So for Android and USS, they're going to they're gonna double offense. But if you do end up running him on USS, which is what they're clearly made to be preferred on there. The U to get an extra buff. What is 18s again? So double defenses and then extra strike attack. Okay. This video has been recorded so many different times and places and stuff because new news keeps coming. I keep making this mistake of not waiting for everything to come out. But basically, yeah, here they are officially in DBZ space. They have the two highest power levels of non LFs and obviously not counting Zenkai's. We already took a look at their kit, so there's no point, but we can go down to Baby Vegeta. And see him. So he's, f uh, I don't know. Eh, I was gonna say fairly high up on the power level, but he isn't really. I guess we'll just take a look at he does. Also, the website's being slow. I don't know what's going on. All right, we're here. Let's take a look. Restores key, thirty percent damage inflicted. Finally, time the blast drops cost. Okay, nothing crazy. It's decent. It's okay. Uh, he gives them downgrades, seals, enemy strike arts, enemy time and face with the enemy takes in. Okay, this is just a worse version of the blue tournament of power to go on. Sealing strikes when faced is with an enemy is good, even though it is specific and it is only three counts. It still, you know, can save you when they, if they like, sw switch into Vegito blue or something mid-combo and now all of their strikes are suddenly sealed. That's good, that's good. The low timer count isn't really going to affect that. It's extra damage when he vanishes. Let's see, permanent damage against Saiyan. And if it's a Tag Saiyan or Tag GT battle member, he gets extra damage, extra key recovery. Ooh, this is good. Restores vanishing gauge. Then he restores health. Then he gives GT blast attack and defense. Okay. This guy looks like an okay option. He's blue, actually. Who's blue on GT? I mean, yeah. Blue is pretty much just Baby, who, yeah, he gives good support, but his damage doesn't exist. And then Sin Shenron, who's just kind of meh. I don't know, he's kind of weird. So maybe he does become the best blue to be run on the team. Who knows? I mean, one thing is that it is just Baby Vegeta. Personally, I would have liked it if they did a uh, Super Baby 1. Because that Super Baby 1 is like not represented in like anything. 
He's like the TUR of the LR in Dokkan, and that's it. He's literally not seen anywhere else. But, I mean, he looks fine. He looks okay. Where his true value I see is with this. This looks powerful. I mean, restoring health on green card is good, but it's quite a small amount. What does he hold? He holds two blasts. I mean, if anything, he will be useful for his double defense ability, considering he gets it from, not double defense, double uh, stat boost. Uh, considering he gets about one star, he looks like, he pretty much looks like a bench unit that they slapped some stuff on him to, you know, make him an actual unit. I mean, c can teach. Oh, it shows this is major. That's lower, right? I'm not too familiar with the multipliers. But yeah, there's Baby Vegeta. He looks okay. He's clearly meant to just be a a bench character, but uh, I don't know. He does get some blast damage, some decent blast damage across uh, everywhere. So he probably will be the best blue for the team, funnily enough. But yeah, that'll do it for this video. It's a very convoluted, weird video, but like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one.